Hi guys, welcome to my super simple unicorn horn tutorial. Okay, so all you need for this is an A4 piece of paper or card. Doesn't have to be A4 to be honest. Um, a pair of scissors. These are my paper scissors, so they're a bit crappy, but they cut paper. Some cello tape, which I've torn off into little pieces about that long along the edge of the table. I've set myself out six, which is probably a bit more than I need. Um, and some elastic, just stretchy elastic, cheap from Abacan or wherever. Uh, and that's all you need for your basic horn. So to make it, just get your piece of paper or card. Nothing, not too thick though, not like proper cardboard box type card. You might find that a bit tricky. Because what we do is we roll it like this. Just, just into a sort of cone shape. Pull out the tip of your horn. It's up to you sort of how big or how spiky really. Uh, that'll do me. So the tip here, just get a piece of cello tape. Stick that down. And there you are, you've got your cone shape. Uh, just to secure it, just on the, the seam there, we're going to stick another couple of bits. Doesn't really matter where, just as long as it's all sort of secure. There you go, that's mostly a unicorn horn so far. So, um, we need to make it flat at the bottom so that you can stick it on your head. So, get the scissors and just sort of hack at it really until until it's flat there, see? Do, 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 do. Oh, that's not very flat. So cut a bit more off. And keep cutting, but your unicorn horn will get shorter and shorter. There we go, that's that's essentially a horn that will sit on my head like that. So to so it will sit on my head and stay there. I need my elastic. So to get about the right length. Just going to chuck it behind my head, pull it to here, and then pull it a little bit tighter, just so there's a bit of spring in there. So I reckon that's, that's about how long I want it. Again, this isn't an exact science. Cut it, cut it off there. Cool. Now to attach it to your horn, we're going to need to put two, horns, uh, two holes in the base of the horn. We're going to put one sort of here-ish. We're just going to do it by careful not to stab yourself uh, just there and then on the opposite side I'm going to put another hole, there we go, got a couple of holes and now I'm going to from the outside in push my elastic through the hole, through. there we go and tie a knot in this end just a quick overhand knot there, just tighten that and that stops it being pulled through the hole if you haven't made your hole too big. If your hole's too big just stick another knot in it and do the other side and we're going to do another knot here. Okay, pull that out and there we have a unicorn horn. There we go. Sorry, my camera is a bit low. Um, see, that was less than five minutes, less than four minutes to make a unicorn horn. And you can decorate it with things like this, which is about 50p at Wilco's. Or if you don't even have a piece of paper or card that you think would make a suitable horn, you can make a slightly firm but stubby one out of a toilet roll tube, just slice down the middle and you just do the same same sort of coning shape that we did out of the paper and you do it exactly the same really so you just roll it like that whack a bit of tape on it whack another bit of tape on it cut off your bottom to make it smooth and see another one just stick the holes in do the elastic nice little stubby horn you can wrap it in tin foil glitter the unicorns do love their glitter uh, but that's it super easy and you can use string if you don't have elastic um, but or you can just you know 
destroy a pair of knickers. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Hope it helps. Bye, guys.